Okay, so I'm Kami G and continuing on with our war games tests, we are going to be trying out the mist pod simulation. Now I've put the challenge on no build zone because uh, I usually use husk swarm, but I'm switching because I want to test if my trap tunnels work for normal husks. Just to test so that when I do endurance, I know they're all working fine. So let's go ahead and run this now. I've actually run this before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Now the main thing you're going to want to do is when the mist spots spawn, uh, a lot of people use their pickaxe to get it, um, a lot of people just shoot it with guns, but the best gun I think is the obliterator. You can shoot through walls with it obviously, as I'm sure you know already. So as soon as the mist pod spawns, you want to go up close to it and shoot it. You can shoot it through the floor. Like if it spawns below me here, I can shoot it through there. But uh, yeah, you want to shoot it quickly because um, I think it's mini bosses that spawn out of it. Um, I can't go down there because I took building. Oh no, I can get out of there. Yeah, I can just jump over here. Perfect. I can't build up to that to get that. But I'm not too bothered about the time cheats. I want to be on guard for when the mist pods spawn. So far it looks like for normal husks and flingers and all of that stuff, they are doing what I want them to. I'm. It's this bit here that I'm most worried about. I feel like maybe I should build more behind it up here to stop them from wanting to go up here even more. And then I could even put something here. Uh, but we'll see. When I do endurance, I'll probably add that. Uh, I thought we would get a mist pod by now. There's a lot of time cheats. Uh, I'm going to get the time cheats. Oh, there's the mist pod. So as soon as it spawns, shoot it. Three shots, got it. Perfect. Very quick, very easy. Um... You don't want to let stuff spawn out of it because obviously when you're soloing, if you die, you fail war games. So you don't want to let any of the nasty stuff spawn out of that. So you've just got to keep your eye out for it basically. It does tell you when it spawns I think, but um, it can be hard to find sometimes. Because it doesn't show through, you know, it doesn't show the health bar through build like for example the storm shield health bar. That sort of thing. So you have to find out where it is pretty quickly. Um, uh, it seems like they don't come too often, which is good news. Oh, so another one spawned. Oh, it's right behind me. Where is that? Down there. Let's see, we can shoot that from here. <laughs> That's the usefulness of <laughs> using the obliterator. You can just shoot it through stuff. Oh, that's perfect. So yeah, that's a tip for you there if you're wondering about how to do this well. Uh, if you're wanting to do this, you know, you might even want to do it over and over again. That's up to you, I guess. But yeah, just whack uh, an obliterator out. It's the easiest way, I think. Again, you can walk up to it and pickaxe it, but by the time you run over there and you're smacking it, stuff might spawn. Because obviously that one spawned quite far away from me. Uh, ooh, a time cheat. So yeah, I definitely think obliterator is best for this mode. It is for most stuff where you have to shoot stuff down, like the invasion mode is just obliterator is the best thing to use because it has like infinite um, range. Obviously other snipers you could definitely use. I use the obliterator because it's the one that I have perked up the most out of the snipers. It has the best range out of the ones I have. And let's just finish it off. See how much less damage the super shredder does and it's 130 as well. So that just shows why I use the obliterator. It's so good. Definitely the best sniper in the game. Uh, but yeah, I'll skip to the amplifier from here because we're not going to get too much stuff now. Right, so now we're getting attacked at amplifier A. Uh, there's a spawn up there which I didn't realise. Um, I've tried my best, but obviously I can't pickaxe that one in the corner. The other ones didn't have traps on it, so I've edited them. But it looks like stuff's going to be able to spawn up there. It's a lobber as well, so I'm going to kill her. Uh, where did the other guy go? They're all going to try and break up there, at which point they'll come over, come round. 
that's not the best thing but uh, that's why I did this on normal to see um, what would happen uh, let's see if I can get a trap underneath it is it gonna break quickly or oh I can't even repair oh never mind then let <laughs> me just let him get through um, I might fail this then but that's fine if I fail um, it was just to show you and I think I'm actually going to show you what happens when you don't shoot the mispod. So when it spawns, I will let whatever comes out come out and we'll see what happens. Because, again, I'm not really bothered about winning. This is more just to show you guys about it. So it's like down in... The, this is actually in the trap tunnel. So I think it's a mini boss that spawns. And if it's a trap vulnerable one, then we should be fine because it'll die from the traps. But yeah, we'll allow it to spawn. Oh, you can see on the right there in the mission thing, it says destroy miss pod, 10 seconds left. And if you don't, then I'm guessing... It's hard to tell where it is. Ooh, what's below here? Oh, that's where it is. Oh yeah, so it's a... Is it trap vulnerable? I can't tell. It's not showing the information about it. Surely it's trap vulnerable, right? But the difference between this and other stuff is... Oh, wow, the amplifier's nearly dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's because all the stuff came over. Uh, but yeah. Only one epic mini-boss spawns. I guess I got lucky with it being trapped vulnerable. If you don't get lucky, you know, it could come after you and kill you. So that's the reason you're going to want to obviously destroy it as soon as it spawns. I might be able to actually do this, you know? Let's see, where are the rest of the things going that spawn there? They're all kind of walking over. Yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just had to kind of figure out where it was by spraying through. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Not too much stuff comes around here. It's mainly, you know, the smaller husks. It's no smashes or... Ooh, there's a taker, though. Let's get a turret up to help with that. And there's a lobber. Where's that lobber? Oh, she's right there. Kill her. See if I can shoot that guy. I might. Hello? Where's this guy? There he is. There's another taker, isn't there? He's about to attack me. <laughs> oh. Well, I should still be able to do this and get the rewards. I don't see why... I wouldn't try. Well, I'm not bothered about losing, but if I can succeed, I definitely want to, you know, get the rewards. I just need to shoot more of those. Where's the mist pod? It's behind me. Let's just kill those guys first. Let's see, where's this? Can I see it from here? Yeah, perfect. Alright, easy. I still have 20 seconds left to destroy it, so you do get quite a long time. I need to kill this guy before he flings too much stuff over. So this this is the whole, you know, this is the deal with war games is some of the simulations are to keep you on your feet. This is my fault though, because I didn't know about that spawn. Uh, the one right there, I didn't know about that. But this is fine. I can go ahead and fix that after this. I haven't edited the Stonewood videos yet either, so I can go ahead and put a note when I do it to you guys to say not to cover that bit up. Um, I'm not really sure what we could do there because we need to stop them from wanting to walk up here, so we could just block that a couple of times. And then if we, you know, open this bit up, hopefully they'll just walk down into the trap tunnels. Hopefully, anyway. But who knows? Sometimes husks do weird things. Oh, there's a mist pod. I didn't even realize. Where is that? Like in here? Nope. I still had 15 seconds left and I hadn't even noticed there was one there. Oh, awesome. Alright. 30 seconds left. We got these. 
Let's put a turret out, get rid of some of these guys. Go ahead and get these with Shockwave. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you go. That is the Mist Pod simulation. Obviously, this trouble here wasn't because of Mist Pods. This was just because of the placement of my traps and stuff. So, uh, don't get too discouraged by that. The Mist Pod mode itself is actually pretty easy. Again, all you have to do is just shoot it with the obliterator when it spawns. Three shots from a 130 seem to do it. If you don't have a 130 on your other one of six, um, you probably wouldn't take too many more shots. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next one.